Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video we saw how pick and match function works in Click. Today we will create a customized report in ClickSense pivot table using those two functions. This is the data I am going to use in this application and the output table we need is in this format. So for each category and the month year, we have data for 5 month years. So for each category and each month year, we need a customized report something like this. First line is sales, second line is profit and third line is profit percentage. And these three lines will get repeated for every categories. This data is available to download. You can check the description section and there is a link available. We also need to give color code here so that it will differentiate one category with another category. We will now try to create first pure table and then we will implement color. I have loaded this data here and I have also created order year, order month, order quarter and order month here. Now I will try to create a pure table first. So we will use pick and match function here to get our desired result. So if you see we need these three sales profit and profit percentage. So I will create a dimension field with inline load and will add these three field as a value. So at the back end I will say dimension table and I will say load star inline and here I will give field name is dimension dim and I will add these three field values. Now I will load this data and because we need category as our first dimension I will use category as first dimension and second dimension is order month here and here I will use sum of 1. So we get output something like this and this month here will go as a column. Okay. So now we have to add forcefully add these three field values which we have created using inline load. So to do that I will add uh, let me increase the size. Okay. So I will add dimension here. So now you can see we are getting profit, profit percentage and sales. I will do sorting and I will remove all the sorting. It will automatically take the sorting based on the load order. So load order is sales, profit and profit percentage. Now I will use peak and match function here. So instead of sum of sales 1, I will write here first match and I will say match with my dimension and with sales. Second one is my profit and third one is my profit percentage. So we have seen in last video that match function will try to match the first parameter which is our dimension with rest of the following parameters. So we will get output something like this. Sales is our first one because we have mentioned sales first, profit second and profit percentage as third one. Now we can use pick function here. We know that pick function is taking first parameter as an integer. And it will give you the result based on the following parameters. So here I am getting result 1, 2 and 3. So I will say if it is 1 then give me 100. If it is 2 then give me 200 and if it is 3 then give me 300. And let us see what output we are getting. So you can see now for sales we are getting 100, profit we are getting 200 and profit percentage we are getting 300. 
So instead of using 100, I can say I want sum of sales. So now we are getting sum of sales here. Instead of 200, I can say sum of profit. And instead of 300, I can say sum of profit divided by sum of cost, which is my profit percentage. So now we are getting the desired result. Only things we need now is to format it properly. So sum of sales I will format as number and something like this. The same I can use in my profit and for the profit percentage I will use 0, 0.00 percentage. And now you can see we are getting the output which we require. Next step is to give color. I will create a variable for the color. I can say v color 1 and I will use this color RGB 235, 235, 224. So this variable is created now. Now to implement color. I will first use row numbers here and we are getting 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 something like that. So it is based on the dimension sales profit and profit percentage and I will also use here row number total so it will give me total. So for the row number total I will write here odd. It will give me 0 or minus 1 based on if the row number is even or odd. So if this row number is odd, I can say if odd row number total then give me this color. So this is giving me the color something like this. So this expression I will copy and using background color of my category. So first thing is done. On a category I will get different color. Now in a sales if I will try to implement the same here it will not work because this category is now divided in three different dimensions. So I will write another expression here and I will say row number total and then I will divide by 3 so I will get answer something like this. Now I will do sale of that so it will give me the full next possible number. So now we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4 something like that and again I will implement odd function here so it will give me minus 1 or 0. And now I will use here if this is odd then give me color. So this is giving me color. This color expression I can copy and paste inside my dimension background color. So now I am getting the correct color. And the same I can implement in my expression here. So in expression background color I will use the same and now I don't need this row number and all others and we are getting the output. So in this video we learned how to use peak and match function to create customized report and how we can differentiate different categories by implementing color. Hope you like this video. Thanks and have a great day.